Hello and welcome to the Garlic Bread Brigade podcast episode 23. My name is Mike and I'm here with Sam. Yo, what up guys? The iconic duo is back. We're back, baby. We're not that far back. So. That was cringe. Okay. <laughs> yeah, um. Okay. <laughs> I know it's got a good laugh. Uh, yeah, okay. so a lot has happened, and um, we're going to be dis- discussing a lot what that's happened in the maybe past. I don't know how long has it been since our last episode. Um, yeah, yeah we got some um, fantastic news we'd like to share with you, and um, we'd like to dive right in. But first. A word from now. I'm joking. We don't have a sponsor. But first, we need we we need a uh, shout out Australia for being a great country. Hoggers for Australia. Yeah, the land the <clears throat> the land down under. Yes, it is definitely the land down under. Yeah, the land from the southern hemisphere. Yeah. It's the land that only a few people know that it exists. Yes. And we're the two of the people who founded Australia. With yeah. our boy, Captain Cook. Totally. 100%. No, I'm just, I'm just messing with you. Alright. But, like, I'd like to actually say some thoughts uh, to our brothers in arms in... Ukraine, or the doing yeah. the, the, those that are doing it tough. Our thoughts are with you. Our prayers are with you. Hopefully, you get through it safe and sound. Yeah, Mike, will you read the poem that you made to the people t- from Ukraine? Of course. <clears throat> from land to water. From water to sky, we are here with you from today to tonight. Damn. That was very beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen to that, brother. Amen. (laughs) Okay. All right. Now, let's get to some of the fun stuff. All right. Let's go. Yeah, so I'd like to... um, give a brief update of some of the behind the scenes that you guys don't see Yeah. of this channel and the podcast episodes. Um, yeah, uh, there is no set schedule for this. Obviously we're just recording when we try to do weekly, um, or bi-weekly. Yeah. We, um, we try to fit in within our schedules. Mm. Um, yeah. But uh, my key's got more free schedule. Yeah, than uh, than Sam. Yeah, I've got a, I've got a tight schedule. Yeah, I've got a tight body. Um, yes. <laughs> I'm joking. Whatever that means. <laughs> I'm just messing with you guys. Oh Kinda man. Sauce. My body morbs, bro. Did you say morbed? Did you? Yeah. <laughs> Did you say... Okay. My body's totally uh, like. I, I can't wait to be in the next Morbius movie. Confirmed, yeah, by the way. Be, you'll be standing there, mobbing out. Exactly. I've got the perfect body, fam. Not already. Yeah, so... Um, Anyways. <laughs> w- uh, work, work's been picking up crazy, so... um, Yeah, so... It's a bit tiring, so... When I'm done work, I, 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 I don't have... Too much energy, so you know, I just want to sit down, like, play some video games and pretty much just chill. It's, 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 it's kind of tough when, when you're in that situation. I definitely love the recording these, it's just like some of the other stuff, like, like you know, like coming up with ideas and like just thoughts. Um, we don't have a script, that's obvious, yeah, we don't write scripts. But, like, we, we have to go out and find, like, if you do any sort of game movie news, you have to actually go out and find some of those. And then, like, 
outside of that, like pretty much it's just all off the whim. Like a foundation, basically. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, and then like some of the other stuff, we're just random stuff that we include. Yeah, we just we just we just talk because we think it's fun to talk about it, and yeah. Uh, whereas Mike, on the other hand, has um finished his university semester. Yeah. And yeah, but uh, so he's got some time. But yeah, so you know, like we do say we try to do it weekly, but if 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 you guys are patient with us, it might be biweekly or triweekly. Uh, but yeah. I don't even think that was a word, tri-weekly. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, mean, yeah, I don't think that is a word, but... Yeah, but you guys get the idea. Obviously, I want to I try, try and do weekly. That's my. That's the goal, to do weekly. Yeah, that's like the Sean example. Mm. But you see, like... Um, the, the, the one issue is that because of, like, this, uh, the, this pretty, like, jam-packed schedule... Uh, which uh, we can't always uh, have time to get together to uh, watch movies. I mean, we can do it separately, but like, where's the fun in that? Yeah, basically. I mean, it's kind of this is the. Uh, it's it's so much way more fun when we're together. Yeah. Just yeah. overall a better experience. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So again, like th- this week, we haven't been able to uh, watch. Iron Man Any 3. How, 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 how many episodes has it been like since... So the so the last episode was the first time we skipped a week, so this so would be the two weeks, yeah. So, but definitely we, we do plan like to... To, to at least watch a movie. should watch a movie this week. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We'll go into more detail about yeah, that Yeah, yeah, definitely. Later on. Yeah, yeah. 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 Also, some of the other stuff, we got like some other content in the work. That's another reason we... Uh, some of the Man other not, reason, yeah. We yeah. haven't been, mm. I guess, recording this <laughs> yeah. as often. Yeah, get, you're going to see some games, you're going to see some other forms of content. Yeah. Excited to make it, excited to post it, I guess. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so look forward to when eventually that comes out. Yeah, it should come out like soon, maybe in the next, within the next two weeks. Again, these are yeah. also not scheduled. These, we don't have any plans for them to do weekly by weekly. So these, these will be just completely random. Yeah. Also, it doesn't help with the fact that um, as uh, for me, I prefer uh, gaming on uh, consoles. Uh, we don't have any way of hooking it up because we still don't have some of the equipment we needed. Yeah, we don't have any capture cards or anything of that caliber. Yeah. So it's like just OBS and whatever it's on the computer yeah. works for now. But that that doesn't mean like um. My kid has got some got some great um PC games that that I'm should yeah willing to play and try out willing to, willing to play exactly I and when we I'll... do get that stuff up uh, I, I myself will I'll put some put some as well content some great content yeah why not mm. don't worry I've got some other content planned that is not gaming that also I can't wait to 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 like flesh out it's still an idea uh, it's still in the idea like phase. Like an idea yeah. phase. Yeah. Ideation phase. Business word. <laughs> Still in the planning process. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, and I'm hoping as uh, yeah, if as work once work settles down a bit, you you uh you'll see like just more uh, uploads. But yeah, it's just like it's just like a, t- a very very uh like tight right now. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's just a, a just really, really, like, you, I'm trying to, like, squeeze in too much stuff. Exactly. So, yeah, as well, because, like, as much as I like to squeeze in, you, you still want to give some time to yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want to burn out. Of course, you don't want to, if you burn yourself out, you can't put as much as you would like to in. Mm, 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 mm. You're more creative endeavors. Yeah, yeah, yep. So just giving ourselves as much time as possible as we can. Yep. Mm. Between uploads and whatnot. And within our given schedules, of course. Yep. Yeah. Now, um now that that's over, this let's let's start talking some 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 uh, some of the stuff that happened. Yeah. Some stuff that happened throughout the week. 
or more. <laughs> yeah, so the, the, these past, like, if we're going to talk about these past week and a bit, I'd say, I don't know how long it's been. Been, a, I guess, a bit of a week. Yeah, so um, we've had, like, a, a lot of things, like, we've had a few uh, live stream events. We've also had um, a few people come out and speak. And we've had some games uh, launch. Yeah. So where do you want to, where, where would you like to start? Um, we've had, obviously, we've had both the showcase for Xbox and Bethesda, and we've also had um, the Summer, Games. Summer Games Fest. Yeah. Which were both jam-packed with just games and content and stuff. Hmm. I guess I guess we'll start off those since the yeah 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 go ahead those, those those are like those are like the the two biggest like um reveals events. like yeah they're like yep all right um okay I guess let's start with just just with those I guess yeah yeah go ahead go ahead With some stuff I guess I liked in this life or not yeah yeah that, that that's yeah honestly overall I like the uh. The Microsoft event more than the Summer's Game. First. Yeah, I think that was like a the Summer Game. I, I dropped the ball. On yeah. Some of the stuff. Yeah. Too many similar s games in the Summer Summer Games first, because the first half, I say of the first, ninety percent of the games were like space horror themed. So you're saying you should have been spread out, even if you're gonna like launch, you shouldn't just like drop all the same. You... Like, so for instance, at the start, no. there'd be like. He's Call no, of Duty uh, than I, I, 50 Space Games. <laughs> I get that. I'm saying it should have been spread out. Like, that's what I mean. Yeah, like, have more, I guess, I mean, I, it, it, But, like, see, if you if this is what you're going to launch, right? This is on this presentation. I'm not, no, I'm not this in the games. I'm saying no, if you're going to yeah. launch, right? And, yes, you've got similarities in games, right? Wouldn't it be better just to spread them out? Overall, yes, that would be Because, I mean, like, like, you can't say that variety the one way when you say the word variety an idea to have variety is to cut down on some of the games that you're going to show so it looks like you have variety okay i see what you mean yeah right but you <laughs> but you, you, you don't want to like tell people like you know what i mean hey man right. we're not going to show your work like these people put a hard in time you know what i mean to develop trailers and like make so obviously you're like all right cool yeah we got that but then it's just spread it out like because like Obviously, the memes start happening after your, like, 50th one. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, ooh, like, is that another like... space game? It's like, yeah, I know. Like, that's what I'm Chow saying. Chow was fed off. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's like, ooh, another one. Oh, my God. Wait, this isn't a space game. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. The memes start happening, and you get clowned on. And that's pretty much... Basically. That's what happened. <laughs> what happened. Yeah. All right, so maybe... I guess some of the goods from the, the Summer's Game first itself. Yeah, yeah. The Last of Us remake. They're making a PS5 remake for it. Yeah, that's I know the it's, it's it's a great to see um great a good title. Game. Yeah, I know it had a PS4 remake, so this one is uh it's a uh, I guess because I know the PS4 version is available on the PS5, but this is a, a another remake I guess, but for PS5 only, and it does look very different compared to like the PS4 yeah, remake. Yeah, I've, I've seen some of the graphics he do changes. Yeah, a lot of characters look different mm. and whatnot. Also, they also mentioned there was going to be a TV show, like for also for The Last of Us. Oh my god, another one. So, you know, just do another just gaming the show news. that's tra- transitioning oh. to a TV show. Yeah, it's on HBO, so hopefully it's good. I don't know. Um, another good thing, I guess they showed off a bit of gameplay for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. RB, it was a campaign mission, so we don't know too much on it, but it looked, looked alright. looked graphically good, so that was great. Um, okay. Goat Simulator 3 had a funny trailer, in my opinion. <laughs> it was good, because yeah. it, it didn't show off much, but it's like, it was a parody of, like, Dead Island 2, yeah, I think. Yeah, I've, I've, I, saw, I saw that, I saw that, and people were making, like, comparison videos. Yeah, and yeah, it is. It, it definitely was, and this like trolled pretty much everyone. Everyone, because <laughs> that game still hasn't come out yet. Dead Island mm, Two. Mm. 
So, um, yeah, Street Fighter Six was also in the game, someone's game first. Yeah. So I want to go Again, back to uh, Goat Simulator. Yeah, yeah, no worries. We, 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 we jump back from uh, we jump from one to three. Yeah, one <laughs> to three. One to three. There's not really a a reason why there's no two. There's no, they haven't explained why. That's... It just they went just straight to three. Straight to three. I guess maybe there's some disputes or something. I'm not sure. Nothing. Yeah. It's just one, two, three. Maybe. Yeah, it's, just jump to three. One, it's yeah. like the n- number one and the word two, and then it's three. Yeah. Instead of one and then the number two, it's like one, two, three. Okay, cool. <laughs> then we got, so we got Street Fighter 6, another heavy hitter. Yeah, Street Fighter 6. You showed off a new the logo. character. What? We, oh, thank we, God we, they updated we, the logo. We both said two different things. <laughs> I was basically saying they show off the new character. Yeah, yeah, fair really? enough. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, we had an anime game. Surprisingly, I wasn't expecting wait, 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 this. We're jumping too fast. We are? Okay, sorry. <laughs> nah, but fam, fam. You, you can't just blast through everything. Yeah, I guess. I mean, it's, yeah, it's quite it's, big. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Um, all right, I'll take it a bit slower. No, nah, no, nah, it's all good. Uh, with Street Fighter, yeah, they updated their logo, their controversial logo design like that they got from stock images. Yeah. And yeah, um, I, I'm, I'm glad that they did that. I have a question though. Do we have any word of their tournaments being changed, or is that still up in the air? That's not Street Fighter's decision. That's Capcom's decision. Ah, uh, yeah. So, so we... Uh, we haven't heard anything. Obviously, Capcom is the the publisher. The publisher of Street Fighter. But uh, when you when you show off a trailer, you're not showing off Capcom itself. Yeah. But you know, we have not heard anything. Um. Mm. Yeah, I mean, hopefully they uh change their minds later on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Mm. Okay, so okay, the anime game I was mentioning, yep. is a uh, One Piece Odyssey. Oh, great! Another One Piece game. So, I don't know if the like... last ones. Some of them have been good. Some of them have been poor. So I'm not yeah. too sure. I have on my opinion on this. It looks like an exploration kind of game. Mm. So a. If it's good, it's good. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, a game we personally just got, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shadows Revenge. Oh, yeah, that, that's that a phenomenal game. That is a game. great game. Great game. We've played, like, eight levels? We've Over? played, like, I don't know, a couple of hours. Yeah. Yeah, phenomenal it's fun. game. It, it's a lot of fun. Really good. <laughs> mm. It's a really fun game. Mm. Um, They showed off more phenomenal of our couch co- co-op mm. game. Couch yeah, phenomenal, yeah, phenomenal couch, couch, couch. couch. like a uh, it's like even got online, which games. is crazy as well. But I think yeah. it's, it's a great couch co-op. They should have um, they gave us a release date for the Cuphead, the delicious last course, ah, so yes. that you'll see for it. So it's coming out on the we 30th haven't finished of June Cuphead. Now. Oh. We haven't. Yeah, so we have to go back. <laughs> oh, you ready, Sam? It's, it's, it's a pain. It's a pain. It's a pain. Oh man. Uh, we're probably around, I, I, I guess, know. over halfway, I think. Yeah, we are, pretty much. I guess so. A game that caught my attention is a game called Metal Hellsinger. It's like... It, it reminds me of Doom, but it's on beat. So it's like a beat rhythm game, but it's like Ah, Doom, yes, yes. Which, it looks very good. Apparently, there's a demo available on PC, and it comes out on September 15th, the full game. So it looks that looks good, and I guess one more inclusion from that that I liked because it looked interesting. American Arcadia. It's basically it's like a story kind of driven game. You're in this city where where it tries to keep you in. It's like a utopia. Mm. It wants to keep you in the city. Yep. And your objective is to escape, and it's like it's like a parkourish. I have not I seen a 2D that game. Yeah. It looks ve- it looks very stylistically. It looks very nice. In my opinion. Mm-hmm. All right. Now, some of the yeah. um, some of the poorer poorer yeah, games. Poor. Okay. Announcements, um, games, trailers, anything. Honestly, okay. Saints Row. They had a good trailer. I'm not gonna lie. It 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 showed off like how much you can customize your character yeah. and whatnot. Mm-hmm. But it feels so off, in my opinion. I don't know. When I, when I look at this game it's, compared it's, to the... It's what is it, how did the community, the community also think, believe that? Or did they think I mean, fine? I'm not sure. 
uh, their response to this specifically. Mm-hmm. But when they originally showed off the game, the community were very against it. Like the initial trailer for the game. Okay. I know that it's apparently it's going to be releasing on August 23rd. Mm. But it's basically, it's, it's just showing like how, I guess, it's just like a, a, a showcase of how, like how deep the customization yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, okay, yeah, that's fair. And and apparently you can, it's like this customization kind of thingy. Mm. You can download it now. I'm not too sure what you could totally do in it yep. other than the customization, but hey, if did you, you want to... Hey, did you just show off the customization? That basically, for the most yeah, part, yeah. yeah. Pretty they much. showed off some gameplay with it. But that was the 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 like the seller for the, mm, that specific mm. thing. Okay, um, I know you like this okay. Gotham Knights. No, I don't like Gotham Ooh. Knights. Well, oh, why do you gotta? Why do you gotta? Why do you gotta like tell me I like it? I I've, I don't like Gotham Knights. Oh, so, man. the gameplay looked a bit rough. <laughs> I already know that it was gonna look uh. rough. Oh man. It's gonna come out on October twenty fifth, but oh, especially the Red Hood gameplay that looked not good. But no, other than I... that, I think they did a decent job. Fam, it, it's it, it, that's not good enough though. You yeah, you have good gameplay. You can't. No, I mean, just like overall, kind of like mm-hmm. overall for the summer's game first. Oh, I, took overall, about, I, I thought you took about. Yeah. Oh man, no, no, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> you you confused me. No, nah, sorry about that. So overall, um, what would you give uh, Summer Game Fest rank? Oh, I'd give it like a maybe a six out of ten, I guess. Maybe Letters, around please. Because there's there's some good stuff, but Letters. there were points where I was kind of like, eh. Fam, a letter. Oh, a letter. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> a letter. Like S A B. S minus. Uh, I'm like <laughs> maybe maybe a between a B and a C, I guess somewhere around there. So you're saying either a B minus or a C plus? C plus. I've always said C plus. C plus. All right. C plus. Yeah. yeah. So C plus. There was, there was definitely some good stuff, but there was also like I don't know some not some good stuff. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Also, but as I said, it's wasn't like, the, it was also it had a lot of indie stuff, from what I recall. Yeah, it did. Like, some of the games I mentioned were indie, like yeah. American, Arcadia, mm-hmm. and Metal Singer were some of the standout indie games. There are definitely some other ones. But oh, it's yeah. Like... But, yeah, like, if you... Uh, it will just have to go back and watch it. Uh, you have to go back and watch the two-hour showcase. Or... That's a thing I hate. It's two hours long. See, I, I, I watched some of the trailers. I just didn't sit down and watch the whole two hours. Yeah, because sometimes they would also be talking and stuff. Mm-hmm. And of course, there were sponsorships bits. Like the Rock came in during it to promote something, and I was like, "Oh yeah, Why are well, you what do you promote? What do you promote? The Rock." So you, so he promoted a drink. Then he <laughs> promoted that you know he was um gonna Black play Adam. Black Adam for DC. Ah, mm. oh, we'll discuss that later. We'll discuss. Yeah, but I was like, "Why are you here?" <laughs> All right, and then the other uh, big hitter. And then, so, Xbox Bethesda Game Showcase. So, this is basically pretty much everything Bethesda. Honestly, no. surprisingly, there was more just Xbox stuff. Oh, yeah. Comparison to, like, just oh, Bethesda. I know, when you say, uh, I'm, I, I made the mistake, whoops. Uh, it's Xbox and Bethesda. I thought it was Xbox and Bethesda. Yeah. My bad. It's funny, because I couldn't find the Xbox stream. I only found it on, like, Bethesda's, yeah, like, that's, account. <laughs> dude, same, same. I struggled to find that. That's why I was like, uh, I, I didn't watch all of it. I just skimmed through it. That's why I was like, uh, I I assumed that it was more, mostly Bethesda. I guess. It was also, the stream was two hours, but the thing is, 50 minutes of that was, mm. like, just a timer. So I was thankful it was shorter than the summer's game first. But, mm, yeah. Everyone was better. But I still I still like the PlayStation one from like last time because it was much much shorter than both. Anyways, though, most of the games shown off for mm-hmm. this, you know, the, the you know which which yep. Xbox and Bethesda mm-hmm. showcase yep. are mostly Xbox slash PC exclusive. Some games I don't know maybe one or two are not, but most of them are definitely. I don't blame you. Of course, they're gonna try and make money. We knew this was gonna be a thing. All right, so let's talk about some of the goods. All right. This, I don't know if this is good, but it looked good to me. Redfall. 
it's like a uh, shooter that mm -hmm. reminds me of like Left 4 Dead, but it, instead of zombies, it's like vampires. Yep. It, I originally, I saw the original trailer for this like a month or two back. I didn't like how it looked, but the gameplay, that it, hooked me. It yeah, looked yeah. much it looked better than not, I was expecting. Yeah. So, um, it looked, and the graphic, graphically it looked all right, and it seemed to have a, um, I guess, because I had characters, and it seemed like it had personality to it. So I'm like, this looks interesting. Hopefully it doesn't just, like, fall off, if you know what I mean. No, I, I, I don't bl bl blame you. Yeah. Because, okay. again, like, based on what we saw last time, I think it was okay. Yeah. Yeah. They didn't show off too much last time. It was just, a, like, a little trailer. Mm -hmm. But this time, it was, like, they showed off a trailer. Then they showed yep. off, like, a five-minute gameplay yep. of it. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Something I know you're actually going to like. <laughs> Me. They showed off Hollow Knight Silk Song. Dude, this I'll, is... I haven't finished Hollow Knight, but Hollow Knight's a phenomenal game. I think I'm still up to, like, pretty much, like, a few hours in. Yeah. I mean, the game is a great roguelike. Uh, yeah, no, phenomenal. Uh, I don't. It's no. I don't think it's a. No, it's not a roguelike. Is it not? Oh, I... it's a. No, no, no. It's, it it's, a... it's a. What's it called? Uh it's just it a... a platformer. Platformer based game. Is it just a platformer? What's the oh, other thing? What's the other thing that it reminds you? It of? has a. It has a thingy. I just don't remember. No, what no. It's what's what's it called? Um, crap. I'm forgetting. Metrovania. Metroidvania. Is that what it is? Bro, what, what, what's the other game? Uh, not Elden Ring. What's the other one? Hmm. Well, like Souls games? Yeah, or? yeah. So this this is the Dark Souls of platformers. Pretty okay. much. That's how I describe the game. Okay, because the I just I just started to do a Google search. <laughs> I know. Describe it as a Metroidvania action adventure. That, re that really doesn't help me. Because... Uh, <laughs> I've never heard that term. That's why I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. Is, sorry for Silk my. Song, uh, will Silk Song be uh, what's it called? It's a, a DLC. It's it's not exclusive. It can't be. No, this is not exclusive. But this was like this was the briefest they showed of anything. They what? What? Sorry. This was, out of the entirety of the Xbox showcase. Yeah, yeah. They showed I think like a minute of this, a minute of two of this. Yeah, because I it heard Silk brief. Song was it was it's still like way in development. It still needs a long time. This, you know, when this was originally announced, twenty nineteen. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's this. It's, yeah, it's some. It's, like... it's probably a CE sequel to Hollow Knight. So it's a sequel to Hollow Knight. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, uh, I thought it was originally a DLC, but no, it's a sequel. Yeah, but you, uh, is this will be on all platforms? Yes, it would. All right, it gives me the opportunity because I played uh, Hollow Knight on PlayStation. Actually. It's on everything, I think, except PlayStation. What? No, you can't do that. Isn't it? Says it's an upcoming Metroidvania action adventure. I'm just reading like a like a like basically Google off this. It's Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Nintendo Switch, and Xbox Series S slash S. Doesn't say anything about PlayStation. Oof. Again, I maybe it will, but based on that, it doesn't seem like it is. But hey, I mean, you can get on the Switch if you want. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um. Okay, so we this this I this I found this trailer to be one of my favorites of the uh, Xbox showcase. It was yeah. the Forza Mo Motorsports trailer. It was basic. This trailer, it was like. It was just a trailer, but they highlighted everything that, like, the game improved upon or was new in, like, a cinematic way. And it was so good. And the, tra and the trailer looked very clean. Like, for instance, they'd have, like, a... If they wanted to show off the, like, the weather system, they'd have, like, cars racing the background as, like, time goes on and the weather changes. Right. It looked very clean. It was like a mix of a presentation slash trailer, and I think that was like top notch. Because they'd have people talking, oh, this is what this does, and this is what this does, but it was like almost like, but it still was like a trailer almost. So I kind of like that blend. 
It was like it was very very clean in my opinion. Um, anything? Uh, do you want to add to that? Like to that trailer or for which one? Forza Motorsports. No, I don't need to add anything. Okay, but they did also add something to Forza Horizon Five, which was even was which was mind blowing in my opinion. Yeah. So they made a map, which was like all crazy environments. Mm -hmm. But then they put the Hot Wheels track throughout it. It's a Hot Wheels DLC for the game. And it looked sick, in my opinion. <laughs> Fair enough. I have to have a look back at that again. Yeah. Yep. Um, of course, we had the Microsoft Flight Simulator showing some of, like, they had, like, some new planes and stuff yep. from back in the day. Also, Halo-themed vehicles are coming out for it. Currently, I think you could get the... um. Like the the plane from the new game, like the spaceship. Yep. Mm -hmm. So that, that's cool. Um. Okay, I'm not saying this game is great or not. Ooh. This next game, but let's just say me and Chat were on the same wavelength. <laughs> Arc two. Ooh. When we saw Vin Diesel. Oh, great! Everyone family. was like, "Family, family. Let's go, family, family, family." Uh, was, yeah, I also was on family when I saw that. Yeah. Overall, I was like, it was sick. <laughs> and overall, the trailer itself was kind of like mediocre, but it was like, it looked it looked like cool, basically. Another game that caught my interest, it's called, and uh, it looked kind of cool, Flintlock, The Siege of Dawn. So mm -hmm. it's like a, it's a, I think it. I think it might. I think. It, I think it's going to be an open world game. Well, not one hundred percent sure on that. Yep. But it's basically like it's a world where humans and gods are like there, and there's like wars and stuff going on. But your character is like, I want to kill a god because it's never been done before. Mm -hmm. So it's like a mix of like you have weapons, like you know, like swords, like melee weapons, and you also have like a. Uh, some guns, like I, it, like you, there is a flintlock in it, you know, as the name suggests. It, um, it looked very interesting. It's like a third person, like action adventure kind of game. Yeah. So it's it looked overall it looked very interesting. I want to see where that game like goes. It kind of reminded me a bit of Forsaken, like gave me that bit of vibe. But mm -hmm. it looks interesting to say the least. Fair enough. And also you have like a pet creature that like flies around, so you know that's always a plus. An unexpected release, I guess? Yeah. Minecraft Legends. Oh, yeah, I mean that because it looked hilarious. But so, it actually might be good. It's like a Minecraft strategy game where the entire premise is kind of like the overworld versus the never. Like, the never's trying to siege, yeah. siege the overworld. So you, the player, are trying to rally any creature from the overworld. It'd be like Zombies, creepers, or anything, trying just to defend it from yeah. stuff from the Never. Looks interesting. They showed off a bit of gameplay, but most of it was like cinematics. If it's yeah. good, it's good, I guess. Because like they had some other like side projects with like you know Minecraft dungeons and whatnot. So if this turns out to be a success, hey, that's a that's good, I guess. <laughs> um, no, I agree with you. I agree with you. Uh, another game that I. This game I'm actually very looking forward to, in my opinion. Lightyear Frontier. So it's a game where you're, where you land on a planet, but you're in a mech suit, like the ones in like Time Four almost, like that similar kind of vein. But it's a survival game where you have to kind of survive off the land and whatnot. Correct. But apparently, there's this. I think the satellite communicating to you from like the planet's orbit, kind of just guiding you and whatnot. It's like a you could even play a single player or co-op, hmm. and it just looks like a fun survival game. And it, I don't know, it looked very cool because it's like it's not just you; it's like you and a mech. So I'm like, hey, that looks pretty cool in my opinion. And just another thing I wanted to mention that uh, caught my eye: I knew as soon as I heard because there was like the CEO of Xbox saying this. Right. As soon as I heard mm -hmm. it, I'm like, oh, yep. I already know what's happening. Right. It's an Xbox partnership with Hideo Kojima. Oh, great. 
What are we thinking? So, like, that's actually great news. That is. Because mm. um, when I because when I saw him, I'm like, wait. And he's like, we're proud to be partnered up with. And I'm like, it's, is it going to be Hideo Kojima? And then I see his face appear. I'm like, yep, yeah, it is. <laughs> Hideo Kojima, right. So, I mean... I don't know hey, what we're expecting, though. Yeah, I don't know what we're expecting either, but, but like... It's, it's just great. It's great to see some stuff. That man has, like, a... a reputation. I guess, like, an endless... Like, he, he, he's so, I guess... Like, when he makes a game, he yeah. makes it so... Like, yeah. out of this world, kind of, like, death to it. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I agree with that, yep. So, it's like, hey... Even though it's on, uh, it's on Xbox, like, hey, I, I'm, I'm interested to see what's going on, you know what I mean? No, no, I, I, definitely, definitely. We may not play all these games, we may not, like, do all any of these. But, yeah, definitely keen to, like, keep my eye and see what's happening, you know? Yeah. Alright. Now for the, I guess yeah, the bad. Yeah, like some of the poorer stuff, yep. I think. Sam, your favorite game got a DLC. <laughs> Fallout 76 DLC. <laughs> it's not... I know you're being sarcastic. <laughs> I just... <laughs> so Fallout 76... Has I don't have DLC. Fallout 76. I do not like... I do not, I do not like it at all. Oh, man. So when I saw this, I was trying to, like... Holding not like oh yeah basically holding Pretty my much. laughter like, this is hilarious like i wasn't really paying too much attention to the dlc itself because i think it's it's a dlc where it takes you to a different area and you do stuff and whatnot over there how, but it's it, like how, how is it still how running? is this still going how is it still going <laughs> like it's it's crazy the fact that content is still being pushed to this game that's what's crazy yeah that's crazy it's just like oh my god huh hmm yeah, I okay, mean, that's kind next. of... We, no, no, we don't even need to speak about it. It speaks for itself. Huh. Sur surprisingly, I'm pretty sure that's the only kind of bad. No, no more bad? I mean, there was Diablo 4 from Blizzard. That wasn't bad at all, but like, you know, what happened recently with another Diablo game. Kind of slightly poor taste. But what Man, the, tra it's, the it's, trailer itself wasn't it's, bad. It's like... It had some do devs, we, do and, we trust they, and they Blizzard have at this point. Yeah, we yeah. don't trust Blizzard. At some this of the point. devs, though, like they sounded like they were very, like some they went into depth about like how creative like the process and stuff was. Mm. And I'm like, this gives me one percent hope for this company, <laughs> which is crumbling beneath its like. Own I mean, weight. unless like unless like this stuff, this stuff is like planned post, uh, like post the before. Merge. Oh, post merger? Yeah, as an maybe. Like, yeah, because if it's before merger, I don't got any hope. I like, just hope when they merge, they fix that game. Oh man, they're speaking, probably not. Though. Speaking of, let's uh, what, wait what one, you, what one you, more thing. What? Go ahead. There was Overwatch two. It was a kind of cringe trailer. <laughs> uh, yeah, they yeah, showed off a new character and stuff, uh, but like yeah, overall, the trailer was kind of cringe. We'll talk about we'll talk about Blizzard in a bit. Yeah, yeah. But overall. This was better. I'd say this is definitely like an A. Overall better. Fair enough. Because it was still overly long, but it captured my attention with way more interesting mm. games. So yeah. Way better. And, uh, sorry, Jeff Keighley. <laughs> oh, Jeff Keighley, what a great guy. Yeah. But yeah, that's kind of those events. I just have you drop it off. You're like, oh, the Overwatch 2 trailer was cringe. <laughs> like the... Like the foot, because they kind of had like two trailers. Oh like, yeah, one the, was the just, first one was just the same stuff. Like, oh my god, we look up to heroes, and then the second one was the character reveal. Yeah, the character reveal wasn't bad. Just the, the you first have to see the whole thing. Cringe. It's like an eight minute video. Yeah, because like they only showed part of it. Oh uh, yeah, the the, yeah, the, that part was only like two minutes or something. Mm. Like. So yeah, if we're gonna talk about Blizzard, um, let me jump in here. No, no worries, go for it. Take the mic, I guess. Okay. I first want to drop... I want to talk about Overwatch 2. Okay. Uh, this is actually a, uh, probably th the uh, Blizzard, like, actually good thing from Blizzard because I think Overwatch 2 is... Uh, Overwatch is a great game. I just think, like, Overwatch 2 is, like... People are going to tell me... Uh, I've seen how many people like, Overwatch 2 is the same as Overwatch. Oh my, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's the same stuff. I'm like, yeah, but like, bro, like, Call of Duty is the same thing every year. 
And yet people still buy it. And yet people still buy it. You know what I mean? Right. I, I just love how, like, I, I love the people that, like, say, stay, say stuff, like, it's not I love the people, it's just, like, I look at it, I'm like, dude, your argument contradicts yourself, you know what I mean? Like. I guess. There'll be people who be like, I've seen so many people, like, it's the same thing, it's the same game. Right? And they'll be right. like, okay, yeah, Call of Duty is the same game, like, it's the same, it's just a whole bunch of new character skins, and a whole bunch of new guns, it's a whole bunch of new maps, it's the same thing, you know what I mean? It's the same, like, overall game, I Bam, guess. and then, like, FIFA, it's the same overall game, you know? FIFA's just a straight copy and paste. Hmm. I guess I maybe because guess... they state this because of just how big the time gap was between Overwatch 1 and 2. No, I think it's because it just would have been the DLC, and I, I, look, I, I don't disagree with it or agree, whether yeah, it, it be, be DLC or not, right? I right. guess we've got to wait till C, till we see, right? So... I know. I mean, most of it is free, I guess. We'll, we'll get to that in a bit, right? So, okay, sure. For me, like, Overwatch 2 is because, like, what, and the new update's like one less player, and then uh, what on release is six new maps, three new heroes, two of which we get to play in the beta, like, pretty much six maps, maybe, if I count correctly, like, four of them have already been played. Yeah, four of them um, already need to play. That's that's a, that's really disappointing on on launch, right? But the reason why I think over it needs to be number two, right? Everyone, everyone said this could have easily just been a an update, an update. But no, because you're changing everything from the system. The whole system is being changed. That's why it cannot be just an update, right? Because they're changing, like, the foundation. It's not 6v6 to the 5v5 now. No, no. What I mean is, like, behind-the-scenes stuff all been changed. Pretty much, like, the engine. Like, a different pretty engine. Much, yeah, exactly, point, exactly. Yeah. It's pretty much the engine's been upgraded, all this stuff. You can't just say, like, that's what I'm saying. Fi- uh, tra- the transition to 5v5, some new heroes, some new maps. You know what I mean? People are predicting it's eight new heroes. I never expected eight, six, seven, or eight new heroes. I did not expect that, in my opinion. Just because of the fact that with all the all the stuff going on with Blizzard is like you're not expecting anything, right? To be honest, right. because the yeah. fact is apparently like development hell. Like people would develop stuff for months, and then you'd go back, and then Bobby Kotick would like scratch all that, so that completely throws out all, everything out of the window. Hmm. Okay. I that's, guess so. that's 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 like some massive like changes, which like you could have had more content, but we don't. B, the fact is that they probably do have six to eight year heroes, but they're doing it for seasonal drops. Yeah. Example: each season will have uh, pretty much there'll be one new hero one month after the release with one new map and a whole bunch of other stuff. Just to maintain the player base. Right, and then like every every other season will have one hero and one map, and then they said like if a hero is done, we'll just drop launch it, which is great. Like you know what I mean. Yeah. So that's I mean, better the... than nothing. <laughs> exactly. That's like all the good stuff, but like the bad stuff is the community sentiment, the backlash, the fact that people say it's the same game, which right. again, like I said, like if you say Call of Duty, it's pretty much the same game. So that's A. B is the fact that like the content looks pretty low on, on release, which again, community backlash. But like again, I say is that like we don't know like I don't know how many years since content drought, right? It's been like three, right? Jeez. We don't know anything, anything about, like, the story. Uh, the PvE. We, yeah. PvE, which, again, is set to launch in 2023. We've got no clue whatsoever with that. That's what I'm saying. Like, if PvE, which has been stated, is a triple A campaign... It's a triple A game campaign, right? Right. With uh, a crazy true skill tree for every hero. Maybe if we look at the if when if the campaign comes out, right? Right. It's actually amazing. Like maybe all of the effort was pretty much in campaign, which is pretty much why we don't see like too much resources being thrown into PvP. You know what I mean? 
Because right. you're making a campaign from scratch, so of course there's going to be like a crazy amount of stuff like in the campaign. But yeah, it's the community sentiment is like not enough content. Do you have high expectations for the campaign, Don? Me? Because I'm scared that people may set a, a very high bar and then it might not be reached. Do you know what I mean? No, I, I'm not. I, I, I like for me, I, I, I don't really play for. I'm like I'm a multiplayer person more often than not. Yeah. When I play, like, when there are games where they say single, like, what's it called? Like, games such as, like, Call of Duty, will, uh, I'm more of a multiplayer focused. Yeah, of course. Like, I can not care really about the campaign. If I'm playing a single player game, that's different. I'm actually going into play the, the campaign. Story. Correct. Yeah. The difference is, Overwatch 2 is like, it hasn't been stated if you've got to pay for the campaign. It's it, uh, free to play, it's the multiplayer. They haven't stated anything from the campaign. If you have to pay for that's, it. I'm scared for how expensive that's going to be. Some people are saying it might be a full price game. If it is a full price game, then I'm expecting a triple A campaign. Like like a very good story. If it's not... Then it has to be better than if it's full price. Uh, yeah, like, again, we'll see. If it's not, like, if it's not, like, if it's free, I don't know what what's happens, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. However, I will state this, that um, the free-to-play mo- transition model, I think it's okay. I think it's okay because, like, bring in players. Yeah, and bring of some course, players. It, it's, the, it's, the, it's the standard, you know, free-to-play r- stuff, such as, like, like you know what I mean? Um, Like the what is it called? What's the thing? No more loot boxes, but it'll be like the battle pass system and then the store system. That's the two systems. Yeah, for monetization. Correct. And, and then here comes the issue: is that like there is new, there's a new uh, above like legendary skin. There's like mythic skins now that they plan oh, to release. Oh no! I, I that's that. Oh no! Already there's a new so, in-game currency mm. replacing the the, sh- the the coins that we have in the shop. So people are saying, oh. will our what coins you... transfer. Like I've got like I, I, me, I play Overwatch. I've got like thirty k coins. Will my thirty k coins transfer, or if it goes to zero, what? Well, well, there's, there's like uh, it's straight. Well, there's people on Twitter mm. that have hundred k plus coins, and it's people that have two hundred k plus. I've been seeing. They've all been wondering what happens to their coins. These are all like just the community and stuff. Yeah, that's valid too. Mm. Maybe they should. This may be sound weird, but maybe they should just spend it because. Do you reckon they're going to have, like, their new mythical skins? Do you reckon that for the first year, you could even purchase them? Probably I not. Know. I don't know anything about the mythical skin. No one knows anything about the mythical skin. Even if skin. you're going to keep your coins kept, that is. I don't <laughs> they know. They very well keep, give to a reset for it, which could uh, piss a lot of people off. Yeah, I don't know. I've got no for clue. lack of a better word. Again, most people are really upset with the content amount because uh, every other season, which a season is apparently nine weeks long, people are saying that Hey, th- that pretty much equates to three or four heroes a year. We're already getting that before. So, so it's just kind of the it's same. It's the same. Concept. That's that's again. There's people really upset about that. You Maybe. could like, see three. You could have nine heroes by now or something. That's what people are saying. Again, upset about that. You know what I mean? Right. Um. I mean, there's a valid. It's valid. Though. These are all valid. Like I'm. Yeah. There's so many questions as well. Like. There is now, you can purchase at full price, I think. It's, I'm not sure it's actually full price. I don't know. I'll have to have a look. You can purchase the uh, instant access to the next Overwatch beta. To the next? To the next beta, because there is a beta coming up. Oh, you mean like a closed beta? Kind no, of no, it's just a beta, right? It's not closed. Okay. Because you can go and purchase access to that beta, which will also come in like with the fact that this this was huge backlash. Like we'll come in with like a few thousand points for the uh, new currency, which you can purchase stuff with. Oh, oh, yeah, it's in like in. Mm, but like we're not just, like I said. This isn't that. This is not the controversial part. That's what like I'm. Uh, oh, that isn't. No, you get a few skins on release. Okay. You get the you get the I think the battle first battle pass. I'm not sure if these are all 100 percent correct. I gotta have a look again. But this is off my memory. These three. Right. But the fact is that you and you you get you get 
purchase when you purchase this, right? Yeah. You're also purchasing Overwatch with it. The original? Correct. Why? Because like it's gonna it's gonna wait, so, many people, you, so many people so many people are saying like if we have Overwatch, why doesn't why 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 can't why can't this be free? You get what I'm saying? Mm, if I'll, I um, have, like, for instance, I have Overwatch. I already paid for the game, right? Yeah. Why can't it be free? Or at least massive discount to, like, 10 bucks or something. You know what I mean? I was going to say, why don't they just have a second deal? Where you can just buy the beta without the game. No, no. Well, the, that's what they have, that. The, the other thing is, if you want access to the beta, you can just go sign up, and there's a chance they give you the beta access. So the only guaranteed way is basically to purchase it. Yeah, exactly. There is mm. a... But the controversial thing is, like, uh, like you're repurchasing a game, right? Yeah. Then they also said, like, oh, like... It's going to be free. <laughs> pretty much. But, like, you're purchasing it because you're paying the battle pass and all the other stuff, basically. But I don't want to purchase something. I'm not... I don't want to purchase something and getting Overwatch again. You know what I mean? Yeah. Wait. How much is that, though? I don't know how much is it. I cannot give you a good price. Um, I think it was, like, 35 mm. American dollars. If I'm right, so that'd be around like sixty Australian. 60. If I was, yeah. Oh, don't like that. <laughs> yeah, and then there's like there's like the final thing uh, as well. Like, is the fact that there is a there is something that they plan to give to like people who have the original Overwatch game. Right. It's like it's like what like the, all it said was that you you're gonna get like a few epic skins and then like. More to come or something. That's it. Yeah. Whereas the other one has like mythic skins. They've got the uh, they've got like two mythic skins. I wouldn't be surprised if Blizzard they will they will get the better stuff, better pay. I mean, in theory, better. You never know. So, the skins like again, good. underwhelming. This was underwhelming. I like community. I'm happy that we there's content to the game because I think the game is it's like I think it's a good game. Uh, it just hasn't had content. It hasn't like had years. content exactly. Um, I'm just hoping with the new game they change up some of the celebrations, add some new stuff to it. No, there is a lot of new stuff coming out. Like there's a lot of new emotes and there's a lot of new like. No, but I mean like, well, like you know how they have. Oh yeah, there's gonna be a lot, loads of seasonal. Every season's like nine weeks, so there's gonna be like some sort of seasonal events and stuff. Like like Christmas. So I hope instead of having like the same old events, they have yeah, there's going to be new yeah. modes and stuff like, you know, no, no, yeah. no they, they, exactly. I completely agree with you. Like, so the new content is great. I just don't like this, what they did, this purchasing stuff. Yeah. So this, this is, the, and I think this is, by the way, this is probably the best segment of Blizzard news. I'm telling you. Yay. <laughs> because the next bit is Diablo Immortals. Which I think is still is is going for a lower on like what um, Metacritic. Metacritic. I think. I think it's the lowest, the lowest rated, game, rated game, and it just keeps getting worse. I, I, there is nothing else to explain. If you want more details, just look it up. I'm not gonna sit here and explain it because I think it's just don't play it. And we went through it in detail last time. Mm, again. But yeah, that game. And then cool. like, and then like, there's a report that Blizzard decided to do an internal investigation on themselves. And surprise, surprise, they say, guys, we found nothing wrong. Shocking. Well, there you go. Case closed. It's shocking. Like, if you do an internal review on yourself, do you really think they're going to come out and say, yeah, guys, look at all this detail we found? I'm just hoping that, like, I, okay, the community backlash is no one believes any anything that Blizzard says. Yeah, definitely. And... Well, I haven't heard any response, any any big, uh, like, from the, what's it called? What's it called? Uh, their, their class action lawsuits. I haven't heard anything of them, right? Right. Since I last checked, right? So, I believe they will say, this is bullshit. You know what I mean? Right. Mm. Yeah. I mean... I do, I do find that funny, though. It's like, dude, dude, it, we've, dude. we've looked internally and we found nothing. Dude, do you want to you know what's funny? The gaming what? community is hilarious. Think about this. Think about this. I want, to, I want you to think about this, right? Okay, yeah. We have the Fallout 76 scenario, right? Right. 
was complete disaster. Right? Basically. We have Beth Bethesda freaking out. You know what I mean? Basically. <laughs> uh, all their games. Ubisoft is, is flailing uh, uh, their arms and like, who the hell knows what's going on with Ubisoft. Right? Right. They decide, like, we're going to release something called Time Savers. Dude, all the com biggest communities are getting clowned on. You know what I mean? Yeah. Activision Blizzard, like, you know what I mean? It's it's a sad, it's so sad what's happening in in that company. Like, not as in like, Blizzard itself. I feel so sad for the workers there, right? Yeah, of course. And then They're Blizzard playing. comes out and does this shit. You know what I mean? They do an internal oh review. They do, Bobby Cody puts out, like, what was it? Like, puts out a message which is really stupid. You know what I mean? Right, like PL speech, basically. Exactly, and then like he, he what, I forgot who takes the fall. You know what I mean? Someone else took the fall. Like he got someone else to write it. Oh, I and think then it like was... he, yeah, and then he said, "Oh, like that wasn't the intention." You know what I mean? I think it might have been the head of Call of Duty who took it. Correct. It was a female. It was mm -hmm. one of the female higher ups. Yeah, she took yeah. it. Yeah, and then like we've got Square. What was it Square Enix? If was it? Yeah. Who doubled down on like NFTs? NFTs. <laughs> And then them selling IPs dude, so they can get more dude, NFTs. Dude, that's what I'm saying. It's all, all it's like, it's like what? Like, I'm not saying, I'm just saying it's like, they're all clowns. And they're continuing to do it. They're all just doubling down on it. Dude, dude, I, I kid you not, right? You sit there and it's like, nothing can be worse than this. And then bam. Then you just, you literally turn the page and you're Dude, like, wow. Dude, legit. I remember when we were laughing at Gran Turismo for like upping the prices in cars and shit? Yes. And now look, Diablo Immortals is way worse than that. Yeah, d uh, did you hear about the article where the guy spent like $16,000? I heard that. To, to get a five star? And then he quit, he, he deleted the game. Man, but what I'm saying is, listen to this, right? So, yeah. A new story will come out, like, some sort of new story, right? Yeah. Like, something stupid, like, from the company, right? And then, like, they get clowned. The company obviously gets clowned, right? Yeah. Deservedly, deservedly yes. Dude, like I said, Gran Turismo, yeah? Gets clowned, yeah. right? Doesn't every other... Like, there is no way in hell, right? I'm telling you this, right? Just from my understanding, right? Because it makes right. no sense. I'm telling you, this is going to make no sense, right? That a company, right? Right. Gets clowned, and your competitors see this, right? Shouldn't they, like, steer away from what happened? They're like, all I right, mean, they got clowned, right? Not only did they get clowned, listen, they get clowned, right? And then they lose lose a lot of, like, loyalty. They lose a lot of, like... You know what I mean? Respect. They lose all this stuff, right? Yeah. Because this stuff is built. It takes years to build, right? You yeah. can't build it in a day, right? And now listen to Definitely this. not. You can destroy it in a day. That's what I'm saying. Build I'm over saying years. Yeah, but what I'm saying is like, let's say Gran Turismo does something stupid. And like, you know what I mean? You sit there yeah. and you're like, okay. If you're Blizzard, you sit there like, all right, we're going to steer away and do something not the same as... Gran Turismo and Gran Turismo obviously we all know like their prices are way too high look at how much you have to pay to get in the prices right right and then as Blizzard you sit there and you're like a great idea let's chuck in every free to play monetization type within Diablo Immortals that's, yeah, that's, it's, 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 well, it's crazy it's, this is business it's literally business 101 competitor is is like failing you take advantage but instead Bro, they're not <laughs> it's, it's not competitor listen right it's like if my competitor does this and the community hates it, right? I'll do the opposite of what they do. And the community is probably exactly. lucky. You know what I mean? Dude. Dude. You know what I mean? Look at look at Fallout 76. They launched a broken-ass game, yeah? Yeah. And they're like, well, this is never going to happen again, right? Because you can see the consequences. Bro. Cyberpunk releases broken. Yeah. And they get the same treatment as Fallout 76, or even worse, right? Pretty much. Right. But you, how? How did this happen? This is what I don't understand. Like, you saw Fallout 76 happen, right? You saw it with your own two eyes. Everyone saw it with their own two eyes, right? 
Right. It should have been a lesson. Do not release a broken ass game. I don't know. Everyone, every company now seems to be just like hungry, hungry for greed. They want money. No, I get that. But what I'm saying is like, do they okay. don't look at the longevity? They look at the shortcomings. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you something, right? I expect in five to ten years from now, right? All these yeah. big game na- name studios will either be bought out or they no longer exist, and we're gonna, they're gonna be replaced with indie games becoming big studios. Yeah. Example, I'll give you an example, right? I don't see Ubisoft right. lasting another three, four years. I do not see Ubisoft lasting another three, four years. Yeah, I, I, that, that company, I don't see them lasting uh, past 2024. I do not see them lasting. Square Enix, I, I do not see them la- la- lasting in the Western in the Western, Western market, they're not, they're, not last they're, they're, they're probably gone. They have like two IPs that appeal to Westerners. Most of the, most of their IPs are just... Yeah, I know, but like, like if, they, they, if their next Western IP is is to anything to believe, from what I understand, right? Will be an NFT game. I don't see them making Basically. anything. Any, I do not see them lasting in a few years. Right. The only thing that's going to keep them relevant in the Western field is just the Eastern games. I know. I, I agree with yeah. you. But what I'm saying is like I do not see them. I do not see like. I do not see these. Right. Obviously, we're still going to have Blizzard and Activision just because they've been bought out. Right. Right. I just see most of these companies are beginning bought out or like. That's what I'm saying. Slowly. The, getting... I, 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 that's what I mean. Right. But what I'm saying is like. Dude, I'm gonna be frank with you. Yeah, I I don't even remember the last time I purchased a triple A game. I don't remember purchasing. Oh. A the only company I, I I I purchased purchased Big... Elden Ring. So maybe that button on that. Uh, it's been but, a while. But the uh, the only company that I've been purchasing games right is pretty much Nintendo. Yeah. And they're not perfect either, but like yeah, obviously they're, they're doing better perfect. than the bunched. <laughs> I mean, like if you compare Nintendo to Derby, they look like a shining beacon, <laughs> dude. But that's why I, I don't understand. Look, look, right? We see Diablo Immortals, right? Yeah. Like, look how bad it is, right? Yeah, it's terrible. Dude, one I mean, month later, gameplay is probably good, but dude, monetization. But sucks. like, okay, one month later, right? Diablo Immortal is not the next. Is it will not be clowned. In one, uh, one month later, we'll be we'll be clowning on another com- a company. Yeah, it's another gonna be game. forgotten. It's gonna be forgotten. That's what I'm saying. And I'm gonna move on. Do you know what? Do you know what the fu- it's it's probably gonna. Obviously, we don't know how bad it's gonna be clowned, right? Yeah. But, but like, it's gonna be clowned. Okay. Anyway, speaking of clowned, right? Yeah. I want to talk about the controversial Sonic. We saw the trailer. Yeah. Everyone saw the trailer. We're expecting yeah, delays. Yeah. And there's no delays. No expected delays. And guess what? Is it going to release in a broken state, or is it going to release in like what we saw was was like a pre-alpha or an alpha? What are we expecting? I'm expecting it's just going to release how the demo looked. Right, but mm-hmm. if it does do that, like, as see what I mean? Like, didn't you see Cyberpunk release like that? You know what I mean? I mean, I mean, the demo looked better than Cyberpunk looked. <laughs> I know, but do, do, yeah. I'm not saying I'm not talking about like Cyberpunk, like as in like. These are better being better than Cyberpunk. What the what no, I'm saying is not. like it's an incomplete game. Yeah, it's basically it looks right. incomplete. Now what what happens is they're gonna probably start reselling stuff for other prices, and which will clown again even more. You know what I mean? Right. It's like, and do you know this is really sad, right? What the? I just want to no. I'm like I'm talking about like it's like us clowning on games, right? Okay. Yeah. It's really sad because I just want to see game. I just want to see great games. Yeah, I just want to see great games, dude. A release of a game should be celebration. You know what I mean? C- celebration, I mean, getting in... together with the boys. If it's a multiplayer game, it's couch co-op, getting together with the boys, hopping on and playing hours and hours throughout the weekend. That's what it should be. You know what I mean? Is it concerning that we only look forward to like three to four like AAA games, like just like per you know? Just look forward to like a couple, not like a lot. Not gonna be lying, right? Yeah. They're probably I mean, we look more forward than, to more. Like, indie listen, games. listen, listen, right? They'll probably be like, let's say in a year, right? You gotta yeah. think about it. I'd say like in a year. We I only say three or four is that. There's probably more than three to four released on an on a year that are fantastic AAA games, right? Right. 
But there's, um, we only look forward to three or four, right? Just because the fact is, don't forget, right? You you gotta take this all into consideration, right? What type of taste in games do you like, right? Right. There may be a triple A horror game. I don't play horror games. You know what I mean? Right. There may be a triple A like. I don't know, like. Um, a story driven game, right? Right. Maybe I don't feel like playing the story. Maybe the story has an appeal to me. Maybe it appeals to everyone else. You know what I mean? So it's like all these different factors also contribute to the fact that you know what I mean? Yeah. Limited games, I d- right? You know what I mean? You just, I guess. Can I get on the same thing? Yeah, I know what you mean. Right, so but obviously, like... obviously, three to four is pretty much probably a rat. The three to four, like again, like it's probably been Elden Ring, it's probably been Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga, it's probably been like, what, like those are the two I've played this year. Yeah, and then I'm, ex- you know what I mean. I know what next is. Uh, what you call it? It's probably gonna be Breath like, of the Wild. probably is Breath of the Wild is the next one. I'm probably probably. Breath of the Wild, Spider Man, the Spider Man game, or the Wolverine game. Those are like those are like the, which which hasn't been announced by the way. But those are yeah. the ones I'm looking forward to. I mean, they've been announced, but we haven't announced. Like, it, yeah, it hasn't yeah. been released, right? But what I'm yeah. saying is like, I completely agree with you. Like, there might be ten games that are worth triple A, like worth looking at, right? Yeah, probably worth right. But, like, in the past, it used to be probably like twenty or thirty, and out of those twenty or thirty, I would probably like like maybe eight or nine. That's what I'm trying to get. Yeah. At. But it was like more. Yeah, exactly. It's, I still it's... agree with you, but what I'm saying is like if we if we talk about triple A, the games that are fantastic, that if you take out all the bias that you actually like, you know what I mean? It might right. be it might be still a good number of like ten, but like it used to be in the back in the day, like because I'm let me give, let me be frank with you, right? Yeah. FIFA and Call of Duty are no longer like triple A games that you look forward to. No, not really, no. Unless Call of Duty get their shit together, but other than that, like... I mean, I'm looking forward to this year's one. Dude, hopefully, it, hopefully. We it, don't know. It, I mean, just by based on stuff we've heard, because there's actually been a lot of, like, um, not just leaks, there's really just, like, news drops from, like, mm-hmm. people with the knowledge. Bro, but just don't forget, don't forget, right? the masters, If it releases broken, we don't know if how good it's going to release. If it releases broken or fully bug, you know what I mean? I mean, hope not. You know how hope many studios is working on it? 40 studios are working on that one game. Mm. But That's I'm basically saying, the entirety of right, Activision. But what I'm saying is, like, I want you to think about this for a sec, right? Yeah. You can't trust anything until, like, because sometimes I put the best parts as their trailer, you know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. And then, like, it comes out buggy. You don't know until it releases. That's the worst bit, you know what I mean? Right, of course. Right. It, you, you don't know until it really... You remember when Battlefield's trailer came out? Oh, yeah. Mm, it looked alright. Is... It wasn't too bad. You know what I mean. Then the and then, then, the, then the beta came, came out. And you're like, Ooh. You, you if you looked Ooh. at the game more than ten seconds, you would have a seizure. But that's what I'm saying. Like, and I'm not being rude. I'm like that's like if you have that, you would. Yeah, at the point flashing. there was a, there was like a glitch where like it would like yeah. you would like, a texture yeah. would flash every mm. five seconds. Yeah, that that was bad. Right. Thankfully, they fixed that, but like the game was not, it's not still not a good state. But it's like, I, I'm surprised how over the years, it's like the people who you'd, you'd probably think have like the most knowledge and skill at creating games were expecting like the least from them to an extent. Fam, it's not that. It's like, it's like, always skeptical we, now. We, we used to, we used to like think about this. I want you to think about this, right? Yeah. It used to be back in the day, right? You would purchase a CD, and whatever was on the CD, you would get. You'd get it. So you, so companies are incentivized to make one of the, the best games in order to sell the most CDs, right? Right. Pretty much, right? But now you can just download Now, stuff. like, wait, and then it transferred to, I want you to think about it, doing pre-orders. Yeah. Like, okay, you, you give extra stuff with, so you make some cool-ass stuff, right? Right. And then it started. Uh, you can update your game, so you make even pre-order with and then digital content with season passes, not battle passes. Season passes where you pay for content over the year, right? Yeah. Right. It's like okay, okay, and then it's like, and then we've moved on. You know what I mean? 
we've moved on. Like mobile games released and mobile games are the were free and then they had like some sort of incentive where like get rid of ads or do that you know what I mean pay for yeah, stuff pay for it. yeah you know what I mean and then people are like oh those are making money why don't we move we, we grab those and put them in like other games you know what I mean right the difference was that like mobile games were free while this you had to pay to get in so you're paying on top of paying that's no good yeah. and then we had like no. of course we got we got like two loot boxes and then after loot boxes we've got you know what i mean battle passes we have battle passes which i still and think battle passes are not that great you know what i mean it's a lesser evil i guess like, like, like that's like the sentiment i don't know if i entirely like that but eh. i mean i read my game be entirely you know to have ne- none of them but you know right so there dude Dude, and then we got to the point where, like, remember, like, Microsoft, or, like, wasn't Microsoft, sorry, you remember, like, uh, Star Wars, Disney's, like, they said that they, no one really plays single player games these days, and then there was a joke, and then single player games breaks their, like, sales or some stuff. Yeah. Like, dude, there are so many, all, all people want, I'm gonna tell you, all people want is to go back to that day where you purchase something, right? And everything's just there. Everything's just there. And, like, people that now, they're, okay, their skins cost money. Some people will pay that. Okay, if you make a fantastic game, people will pay for skins or whatever. Yeah, you know pay for I mean? your appreciation. But no one will pay, like, pay to win. You know what I mean? Right. And there are so... Do, do you know what I mean? Dude, we got to the point where... Fortnite is one of the best games out there. I want you to think about this for a sec. I'm not talking about gameplay. I'm not that great at Battle Royale. I'm not that great at Fortnite, right? Yeah. But Fortnite, they they, they just pump they out free constantly. content. Yeah. yeah. It's like... I mean, you don't have to pay for anything. You yeah, can pay for the free. skins, You can pay for the skins. You can pay for the Battle Pass. And then, like... You know what I mean? And then people just pay for that stuff because they're like... We like the game. We like the game. People just sit down and just play for hours, right? It's yeah, the same with Apex. Like... I think it's the same with Apex. Apex is a phenomenal game because of that, right? Yeah. Then other games kind of do something similar, but they, they Dude, cost like you 60 cannot. Bucks. You can no longer. You can no longer. Okay, you can no longer make a multiplayer game that doesn't evolve. Yeah, doesn't work like that anymore. It because it, it can't because like that's why Call of Duty has a yearly had a yearly thing, right? You'd make you'd, you'd play COD, COD right? You you pump out content for one season, right? And then you'd make a new COD, right? Right. That's that's legit the reason. It's legit the reason, right? I want you to think about see... it. It makes sense. It makes sense because, like, after one year, right? It's like it stayed its course, basically. It's pretty much like unless unless you j- j- just chuck you like chuck like a, a like another t- ten maps and like another thirty guns, right? No one's gonna play the same card again for the next year. You know what I mean? Basically, because everyone's burnt well, out. Like it gets to the point, everyone. So you re- you make a new card, and then you do the same thing, right? The hmm. only problem is like with the latest cards, they're broken, and then they've got loot boxes, and they've got this stuff, and then they've got that stuff. No one plays that because of that. It's not because no one wants to play COD, right? That's not the issue. No one wants to play these stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. I uh, dude, I w- I would love to just sit down and play COD and just shoot shoot my friends. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, we tried doing that, but then Modern Warfare 2019 had the bug of a lifetime during that time. Dude, and it was unplayable. Thankfully, it's patched, but like that—that that was painful. Dude, dude, but that's that's like that's what that's what ha, what I mean is Happened, like you yeah. know what I mean. It's like there are so many people who will, and dude, we get to the point where like companies will like show off stuff, right? And if if their game fails, like let's say like you got pre-orders, like you know what I mean, all this stuff, right? Yeah. Dude, Cyberpunk made its money back, and then when Probably it released, it still made it still made its money back. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it made millions of dollars, even though like such a shit game. You got millions of refunds, yeah. Okay, I know it ended up getting millions of refunds. You know what I mean? No, I mean even even it still mm. made money, even though mm-hmm. it got all those refunds, yeah. But that's 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 what I mean. Like now yeah. these companies, like, all right, once we make the money, we don't give two shits about the actual product. You know what I mean? Right. But that's why that's why I mean like. 
It's it's. It, I don't think it's the dev's fault. The devs no, don't. No, it's not. It's obviously not the dev's fault because the problem is we know the devs can make fantastic games. You know what I mean? Right. I mean, imagine you're in a company, Ubisoft. Mm-mm. I just want to have make my Assassin's Creed game, and then the boss comes up to you. No, add time saver. You can't say if you tell him no. He's like, "All right, you're fine." Yeah, exactly, like exactly, exactly. Or you know, as some allegations come out, you could get like, you know, like single doubt, basically. Dude, there are so, so much, there's like, so much stuff that can happen, right? You know what I mean? So you can't really do much as a dev, and it's very unfortunate. Dude, it's it's like, dude, it's like the reputation of Assassin's Creed like is gone. Call of Duty's the dude FIFA, right? Yeah, is like gone. Like there are so many games. I understand, like, I think COD's, like, the best example, because, like, think about this, right? It's right. like you have one COD, and you just keep pumping out maps and guns, maps and guns, maps and guns, all right? Yeah. You could just easily just done that, you know what I mean? Easily. Maps and guns, and you just pump it out, and then this COD will last a long-ass time, you know what I mean? But it's maps, guns, and game modes. If you just do all three of those, it should be fine, you know what I mean? Right. You make one COD, and that's it. You you, you can do you can do that. The, the problem is... The problem is you gotta have you gotta somehow put money. In. Where's where's the money gonna come from? You know what I mean. So you yeah. have like battle pass. I, that's what you should COD should do. Have battle passes and then just pump out maps and guns, maps and guns. Yeah. Yeah. To the point where like a COD game has hundreds of maps and thousands of guns and like uh, I don't know twenty or thirty game modes. You know what I mean. To the point where like you sit there and you're like you could like you never get bored. You know what I mean. Do you gonna get what I'm saying? Yeah, that's kind of what they they are kind of doing now. The, but yeah, I know. But like, that's yeah. you, you could have had this approach, or your second approach was which what which was originally doing. You know what I mean? Yeah. You sit there. You have, you make you make a, a card right. Right. Every year, each year, you know what I mean. Drop season, drop a seasonal content. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but this is why you don't do just free seasonal content. This is what I don't understand. If you're going to drop free seasonal content, it doesn't keep companies in check. You know what I mean? That's why I remember when I had, like, you pay, like, 60 bucks extra, you get, like, what, like, 12 maps, usually, because it's for each season, I remember. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then, like, a ho- just a whole bunch of guns. That's what it should be, right? Right. But I don't, I don't like, I don't like community segregation, so I do prefer free content, right? But what happens is, like, the issue why this does not work, right? Right, and we we can see why is that like you you have multiple companies working multiple cards. That's not an issue, right? Again, that's not an issue. Yeah, yeah. My issue is like the time, like your 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 remaking Call of Duty from the scratch upwards. You know what I mean? You're remaking guns. You're remaking like you know what I mean? You're remaking yeah. all this shit, like which easily could have been avoided <sighs> if you just did it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, kind of. Oh man, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, anyway, that's enough me ranting about games. It's not really a rant. It's just like a how times have changed. You know what I mean? I was gonna say just one last thing. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, go ahead. We'll see. We'll see what happens because this is the first time COD's not gonna have a game. It's gonna have its second year. You know, it's gonna be a second year of content for the game. So we'll see how it kind second of year, fares. second year of co- of development time. You mean? It's. No, oh, this, oh wait! No, this the game, next card will have this will have two years. Is that we saying? Yes. Yeah. So much. the next game after it will have a full year, full three years basically. Because the game came out what twenty twenty. Yep. The try X previous one. Mm. Then they would have a year for 2021, 2022, 2023, It's a year off. Mm-hmm. Twenty twenty four they drop again. Yeah. Okay. That's not. A, yeah. Uh, yeah. No, but I mean, like, we'll see how yeah, twenty but, this but, game handles the year two content. Mm-mm. But I'm saying is like, again, like, if Treyarch again, like, or the Call of Duty, if let's say every season we drop a map and like five new guns, right, and right. a game mode, if they just do that, right, yeah, and I think COD's fine. COD's in a great space. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's 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 all it takes. It doesn't like take too much, you know. Yeah, and then but, during next year they're gonna drop War uh, Warzone too, so. Also with it, so hopefully, you know, we'll fam, hopefully like, we'll get some good stuff. Anyway, yeah, hopefully um, overall it's gonna be better. Yeah, hopefully. All right, let's 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 talk it. Let's like because we're we we're ooh, it's we pretty about. long as Quite long. So, <laughs> yeah, let's 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 like let's just wrap it up. So, in terms of um, 
this week there, there we will try our best to watch Iron Man three, so we can yeah. just get some talking about it. And we may even watch uh, the, depending if we have time, because uh, the Minion movie comes out, and I'm like, I'll, I'm a huge fan of Despicable Me. I love Despicable Me. Um, yeah, a mini movie. We might watch that as well. Maybe not guaranteed, but Lightyear looks also pretty interesting. Yeah, maybe maybe we just go and catch a bit of Lightyear. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Looks interesting. Yep. Yeah. Uh, any any final thoughts? I know, I know. This uh, has just been like. <laughs> we rattled on for quite a while. Yeah, we did. We did. Uh, this is more of a gaming episode. Maybe next or next week we'll, we'll have some more Focus interesting. Or else. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we'll have some more interesting ones. Um, Unless a company does a, another dumb thing. Oh man. Mm. Uh, 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 final thoughts. Um. Um. Yeah. No. Final thoughts. Um. I wouldn't be surprised if Nintendo drops a trailer within the week, next two weeks. For what though? Like a it... not trailer, a uh, like a like a maybe, maybe, yeah, yep. Yeah. I, I, a direct I, 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 in a treehouse would be crazy. A direct in a treehouse. Oh yeah. But they, if if people are unaware of what a treehouse is, they play some of the games they show off in the direct. So yep. it's like yeah, because people because uh, it's be there's leaks and there's hints and the foreshadowing. So yeah. Yeah, alright. Alright, guys. Alright, see you guys. Alright, see you. Goodbye.